Hello, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. We are playing through the Arrival in Chains scenario from the Gloomhaven Kickstarter campaign. And we're gonna move right into this to see if we can take these nasties out. They are both drakes. One's a spitting one, one's a rendering one, and one already has three damage, and that would be this guy here. So let's do our best to take them down. So the cards I'm gonna pick this time are gonna be the 29. I want to use the move two for all adjacent allies and enemies suffer a damage. I like that one, plus I go early. If I'm close enough to them, I can do this one too, which is the attack three, which is also a nice uh, combo as well. Um, ooh, actually, you know what? I like this one better, the heavy swing. This one I can push a target into an, uh, to a hex containing an obstacle and destroy it, and he suffers two damage. I like that, that's a nice combination. It's time to get aggressive. So 29 is gonna be what I'm going with for the um, Craigheart. Now for the Tinker, the Tinker wants to continue to hit uh, this particular guy here to weaken him. Um, I can stun him, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So I could do a quick stun attack on him. Uh, that wouldn't be terrible. Uh, let me think if that's the best option. He has three damage and we only need four more to kill him. So a really strong ranged attack would actually do some damage on him as well. So we could just go to try to take him down. Maybe that's the best option. Um, Let's do a, I'm just trying to think, because I, what I really want to do is make sure that like the, the movement of all this is going to pan out correctly. I don't know if that's the case, but we, we do need to generate uh, four damage to kill him. So if we have a shot that's around three, that, wouldn't, that would be safe. Uh, we could also try, um, I don't really have anything. Ooh, well if the credit card goes at 29, and I can drop a trap down and pull him into it. That actually would be pretty handy too. Uh, but I don't really want to lose a card. And damage six is too good to use right now. Oh shoot. So let's, we might have to use an area of attack um, in order to make sure that this happens. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'll do this one because I get to immobilize him and keep him from coming towards me. So that'll get me to go at 19, which is good. It's a ranged attack. And then for the bottom one, I'll do a heal who do I want to heal right now? Uh, probably want to heal myself as well. I'll just do the summon decoy one for now. So we're not going to summon the decoy just yet. I think it's going to be good on the, whatever comes up next. So 19 and 29, we'll go ahead and flip. And just so you guys know, in the previous video, I shuffled all the cards that need to be shuffled in terms of the shuffling symbol. So we got a 72, that's pretty high, and a six. Oh wow. Okay, so the spinning drake is going again very, very early. So that's this guy right here. So we'll move him first. So he's gonna shield up, he's gonna heal too, which is good because he has nothing on him, that's awesome. But he's gonna strengthen himself, which is a pain because now he's gonna attack at a higher rate. But at least that's his turn and he is done. So that's awesome. Now we're gonna go to the tinker. So the tinker, what are you gonna do? Well, first off, we should probably heal. So we should heal off our our poison, so we're knocking the poison off. We're no longer poison, that's good. We don't get the benefit of the two heal onto our character when you po when you heal for poison, you just get rid of the poison token. Now we're gonna go ahead and discard this. We're going to do an attack three, a range three. So we're gonna target this guy here and these three spots. We're gonna immobilize him, so if he's still around after this attack, he'll be immobilized, which I don't know if he will be or not. Uh, and then we're gonna gain one for each enemy targeted. So we are shooting this with the Tinker. So the Tinker is gonna finally get a first XP point of the game. And then we're gonna go ahead and do our attack. So it's an attack three. Uh, we don't have any extra bonuses we can add to this attack to make it any better. And we only need four to kill him. So hopefully we get like a plus one or something. Nice, we got a times two, woo. So he's dead, he's gone. So he didn't even get a chance to use his strength, the token, haha. <laughs> because his turn never came around, and he's gone. Good job. Okay, so we lose this card though. It's gone forever, but it was worth it apparently. So we're good there. And now we can move to the Rendering Jig 72 and the Craig Heart is 29, so the Craig Heart gets to go. And this is where we get to use a really cool heavy swing attack, and I like this. First, we're gonna do this one. Move two, all adjacent allies and enemies suffer two damage. So I'm gonna go one, two, and this is going to cause a damage on this uh, spinning Drake right here. So now this is just so you guys are aware of this, it's one damage, so his shield won't block it. Uh, so even though um, he went ahead and he boosted himself for shield, this is a damage, it goes through all automatically. So he's automatically got one wound 
Uh, he can't block it with a shield. So if I, because if I go to the shield section of the rule book, it specifically states that it only defends against um, attacks and not. It says a shield X bonus is uh, ability gives a target defender bonus that reduces any incoming attack value by a certain amount. So as of right now, this is damage. Damage goes right through the shield, so that's what's cool about it. So I move there, I drop the damage on him. Then I'm gonna do this one. Now this is where he's gonna be able to use his shield. So it's gonna be an attack three, um, and it's gonna be, I don't have any way to boost this, which is too bad. Oh, yes I do, because it's not a ranged attack. I'm gonna use my storm blade. Oh, I can't, I don't have the wind symbol. That's too bad. Okay, well, it was nice to think about. So three, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull. He's got a shield of two, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, not bad. So we, we covered his shield with this, essentially. So essentially three damage does get through, which is awesome. So now he's up to four. And then on top of it, we have a really cool situation below. It says, push him one, you may push the target into hexes containing obstacles. In each case, destroy the obstacle and target suffers two damage and you gain XP. We're gonna shove this guy back into this column, destroying it. It's gonna cause two damage to him. So we just knocked half the column down. <laughs> And now this Spitting Drake has an extra two damage on him. So he needs two more and he's gone. Um, but that was great. Now he's at, he's at distance and uh, this card is done. We also gain an XP for doing that. And it's not even a lost card. I love this card. It's awesome. So this goes in the discard. And uh, we already did this one. So this one uh, goes in the discard. Oh, and by the way, we get the leaf element up. So I, I missed that. That goes to the strong column. Okay. That's it. Now we move to the Rendering Drake. Oh, oh my gosh, he's going to... Oh no, oh, could you imagine? So the Spinning Drake went first. The Rendering Drake would have attacked a thousand million bajillion times, but we killed him just before, so that's awesome. So nothing to worry about there. We can clear all the damage off. He was dead. So that's sweet. Um, we don't have to worry about him anymore. And that's essentially it. So in terms of shuffling things, the only one that needs to shuffle is this one because I got the times two modifier. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little shuffle of this deck. Make sure that we uh, get these organized correctly. Not bad, not bad. We're not doing bad, gotta admit. We're not doing bad. Things are looking okay. I think we're all right. Um, There's a couple times there when the cave bear hit us at the beginning and I lost like eight damage on one hit. I was like, okay, this this is gonna be, I'm gonna be losing cards left, right, and center, but things things kind of turned around for us a little bit. All right, so it's the end of the round. Leaf goes down to this column. We're not gonna short rest because we still have some attacking ability there. We still have cards over here. So we'll probably do it at the end of the next turn. Um, now the strength and self symbol, how this works is uh, the, the character would have lost it from prior, but gained it again here. And the strength in what it says is, um, if the figure strength and it gains advantage on all attack at the end of its next turn, you lose it. So he would have lost this and technically he did, but then he gained it on the last turn. So he still has this. We are still poisoned with the Craigheart. We'll have to focus on that in the next video. So we've shuffled, got everything ready, and I'm gonna cut this one a little short, but uh, we're gonna move into the next situation and then I'll also prepare for whatever's coming after this because we're likely to kill this last guy. So anyway, you guys, hope you're enjoying. Thank you for watching, appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, hope you'll follow me along on this journey as we get to the end of this uh, arriving in chain scenario. So till next time guys, keep rolling solo.